Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7. This is episode number 2076 and it is with a heavy heart that I am here to report some sad news. In case you haven't heard yet, Max von Sydow, the actor who played Loris Anteca in The Force Awakens, has passed away. He was 90 years old. He passed away on Sunday, March 8th. In a brief statement from his wife Catherine, she said, It is with a broken heart and with infinite sadness that we have the extreme pain of announcing the departure of Max von Sydow. And I just rewatched the opening scenes of The Force Awakens and his gravitas, is there a better word for it? Just the ease and the comfort that he owns the role and the fact that you just look at the man and you immediately invest in him. All of these incredible qualities and the you know, life of exploration and learning and his reflection on Leia as still being royalty to him. The way that he talks to Adam Driver's Kylo Ren and saying, you know, cannot escape the truth that is your family. Just the authority and the passion and the ease, just the ease with which he delivers everything in this movie. And, you know, he was not somebody who was, you know, familiar with it. He didn't particularly recall or remember in interviews, you know, stories about the original Star Wars coming out. He just remembered that he liked them and that his kids and his kids' friends liked them very much and that he was excited to be a part of the project. But his appearance in The Force Awakens is just the comparative tip of the iceberg. Max von Sydow appeared in more than 100 movies and TV series. Also, recently, he was the Three-Eyed Raven in Game of Thrones. He actually did voiceover work for Skyrim, the video game series. He did 11 movies with the Swedish filmmaker Ingmar Bergman, and I'm not well-versed on Ingmar Bergman movies, but that's a big deal. The fact that not only was he a frequent collaborator with Ingmar Bergman, but was basically sort of the director's own, you know, projection, his own representation on screen in movies like The Seventh Seal and Wild Strawberries. He had such an incredibly varied career on top of doing all of these art house kinds of films with Bergman, if you will. He was also Ming the Merciless in the Flash Gordon movie from the 80s that had the Queen soundtrack. He was Brewmeister Smith in Strange Brew, the SETV movie. And he was also in The Exorcist. He was Father Marin in both Exorcist movies. He was in Three Days of the Condor. You know, the list of movies goes on and on and on. Like I said, it's a hundred, you know, that's quite a lot. I will say that he, for you know, my own recollection, is in two of my all-time favorite non-Star Wars movies, which include What Dreams May Come, which is a Robin Williams movie, and also Until the End of the World, which is a Wim Wenders movie from 1991 that didn't do very well upon its original release, but apparently was twice as long as it actually was and had been starkly cut to be able to make it into movie theaters based on the film deal. But recently they just released the 287 minute version of Until the End of the World and apparently it's absolutely fantastic and I think it's one of the most prescient films about our you know screen addiction these days that you will ever see. But his appearance in The Force Awakens was actually not the first time in which he appeared in a Lucasfilm production. That would actually be his performance as Sigmund Freud in the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, if you remember that TV show. There were also a couple of interesting misses, if you will, in his career. I went to look to see if there was any indication that he might have auditioned for Obi-Wan Kenobi in the you know original Star Wars, but that doesn't seem to be the case. However, he turned down the role of both Dr. No, the actual villain Dr. No in the first James Bond movie, and also turned down the role of Captain Von Trapp, Christopher Plummer's role in The Sound of Music, and this was in order to play the role of Jesus Christ in The Greatest Story Ever Told. So, man, <laughs> that's a heck of a decision. And we haven't actually seen the end of his film career just yet. There was one more film that he had acted in, Echoes from the Past, which is currently in post-production, so there will be one more opportunity to see a final Max von Sydow role. I hope that movie turns out to be really good and 
earn him you know one final Oscar nomination, hopefully even a win. If he were to win, that would be his first and only Oscar win. He's been nominated twice previously and also nominated for an Emmy Award too, but did not win any of those, sadly. So there you go. Max von Sydow, who has passed away at the age of 90, who opened up The Force Awakens in the sequel trilogy with some you know, very intense and moving work. And as we say here on the show when we talk about anyone's passing, in the words of Meister Eckhart, if the only prayer that you said was thank you, that would be enough. And so wherever you happen to be today, I hope you will say a silent thank you for Max von Sadow and the gifts that he gave to cinema here in America and throughout the world. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode, and may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be.